Laguna Beach has over 30 coves and beaches, but it's more than just a seaside town. It has over 20,000 acres of wilderness, 80 art galleries, 400 local artists, and hundreds of specialty shops. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Laguna Beach, California. Downtown The downtown region of Laguna Beach is full of enough sights to fill your day. It begins at the main beach park and goes all the way to Legion Street. You can check out a unique restaurant, go shopping, get a drink, or browse an art gallery full of work from nearby artists. See everything from walking or driving through, but be prepared to get frustrated when you try to find a parking spot. If you want to find an easier way to travel, try the free Laguna Beach trolley. Events Schedule your trip for the first Thursday of the month to take part in the Laguna Beach tradition known as the Art Walk. It lasts from 6 to 9 p.m. Go from north to south to see all the beautiful galleries and shops while sampling wine and snacks. A few of the best are the Vintage Poster Shop and Cush Fine Art. If you don't want to walk the whole way, take the trolley. The Sawdust Festival is over 50 years old and lasts 9 weeks from June to August. An average of 200,000 visitors come to buy local food or crafts from over 200 vendors. You can even take a class to learn how to make your own. There's also a winter fantasy version in the cold months. Tickets are only 8 bucks. The Pageant of the Masters, also known as the Festival of Living Pictures, is a popular summer event. It's held from June through August across from the Sawdust Festival. The pageant is held in an outdoor amphitheater and is unlike anything else. You'll get to watch locals who have painted themselves to act out famous art pieces. Buy a ticket in advance to clinch your spot in this popular show. Laguna Playhouse this is the oldest playhouse in operation on the West Coast. It has everything, including plays, musicals, comedy shows, and more. The Laguna Playhouse Youth Theater also gives young performers a chance to shine. Heisler Park Heisler Park is easily accessible from a pedestrian path that includes sites such as public art and gardens with rare flora and fauna. You'll also get beautiful views of the ocean, Catalina Island, and the main beach. You can sit at a picnic table and cook up a meal at the barbecue grills or stop by the local restaurants. It's also full of sculptures and you may even see a dolphin or watch a whale breach. Main Beach this is one of the best things to do in Laguna Beach if you want to go straight to its most famous sands. It has a famous lifeguard tower, volleyball and basketball courts, and beachside homes. The water is fine, but ask the lifeguards if there are dangerous riptides that make swimming too dangerous during your trip. The main beach is popular with celebrities and tourists and tends to be crowded. Don't come during peak hours if you want your space. Victoria Beach this is where to go to relax on the sand. It's uncrowded and beautiful, in part because it's difficult to access and find parking. It has a pool right on the sand as well as sea caves and tide pools to explore. One of the beach's most famous feature is the Pirate's Tower, also known as La Tour. It's an elaborate home with a staircase revealed during low tide. It's believed to be connected to Bette Midler and is currently closed but remains a great photo op. Aliso Beach this is one of the best alternatives to Main Beach when it gets too crowded. It's easily accessible and connects to other popular spots such as West Street Beach. The waves are large and perfect for skimboarding. You'll also find amenities like restrooms, showers, and a playground. And it's the only beach in the area with a fire pit. It's also one of the few with limited hours and an entry fee. Pay $1 per hour to park from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Table Rock Beach this used to be one of the most secluded beaches in Laguna Beach, but it's since become well known. It has a cove with rocky bluffs and beautiful homes on top. Enter by going down a wooden staircase. The waters are a beautiful turquoise color and home to a wide range of marine life, including whales and dolphins. Thousand Steps Beach this beach does require a large trek up and down approximately 300 steps to enter and exit, but it's worth the effort. It has beautiful sand and is a perfect spot for swimming, playing volleyball, or having a picnic. There are also plenty of famous homes here, including the one John Wayne used to live in. Treasure Island Beach a large landmass protects this popular swimming and snorkeling spot. Be sure to visit its landscaped park and see its coastal plants and art installations. Before we tell you more of the best of Laguna Beach, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. The Top of the World Alta Laguna Park earned its nickname because it's over 1,000 feet above ground. It provides gorgeous views and amenities like picnic tables, tennis courts, baseball fields, playgrounds, restrooms, and running water. Pacific Marine Mammal Center 
You'll find this center along the Orange County coastline. That's where they release rescued marine mammals. They take in sea lions, elephant seals, Pacific harbor seals, and northern fur seals. Visiting the center teaches you more about their work and the animals they save. Admission to this nonprofit facility is free, but donations are encouraged. Crystal Cove State Park You'll see almost every type of natural wonder Laguna Beach has to offer here, making it one of the top state parks in California. It's also one of the largest with a three-mile coastline. Crystal Cove is perfect for water fun like exploring tide pools, swimming, surfing, and scuba diving. Land excursions include hiking or biking, and there are over 2,400 acres of woodlands here. The Morrow County Trail is three miles long, and you can even stake a claim at the Morrow Campground if you can't get enough of the gorgeous scenery. Laguna Coast Wilderness Park This is one of the best places to go hiking in Laguna Beach with over 7,000 acres of land. Go to the Nix Nature Center first. You can choose from over 40 miles of trails if you want to hike. A few of the most popular are the Laurel Canyon Trail and the Big Bend Trail. You'll need to pay a small fee and bring your own water. Crescent Bay Point Park this park sits above Crescent Bay Beach and gives a full 180 view of the coast. It's a perfect place to watch the sunset and one of the most peaceful places in Laguna Beach. Kaya Bistro Eating here is one of the best things to do in Laguna Beach if you have a large group to feed and want to share delicious appetizers. The menu has a wide range of delicious tapas, including Hawaiian poke and bacon-wrapped dates. It's only open for dinner with a weekday happy hour from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Reunion Kitchen and Drink Walk from Heisler Park to reach this delicious restaurant. It has a large menu full of appetizers, seafood, Asian-inspired dishes, and more for you to try. Banzai Bowl This restaurant specializes in acai bowls and has a great variety on its menu. Watch surfing videos while you enjoy them or take them with you to the beach to soak up the Laguna Beach atmosphere. Rooftop Lounge this is a popular spot because of its beautiful views and delicious cocktails and appetizers. Be sure to come during the weekday happy hour from 3 to 5 p.m. The lounge is also a great place to watch the sunset. Laguna Beer Company This is one of the best things to do in Laguna Beach if you want to sample its craft brewing scene. It has a range of beer and award-winning wines, but it's also family-friendly, with coloring books and board games if you want to bring the kids. Laguna Beach Art Museum this is the oldest museum in California, opened in 1929 by the Laguna Beach Art Association. It's the place to go if you want to learn about the culture of the state. It has three floors full of over 3,600 pieces of historic and modern art. Tours take only an hour, and there are also regular events like auctions, speakers, and family workshops. Tickets are $7 for adults and 5 for seniors, and it's closed on Wednesdays. Murphy Smith Bungalow this is one of the best things to do in Laguna Beach if you want a unique glimpse into its history. It has furniture and exhibits that show off what life was like when it was created and Laguna had its first population boon. Free weekend tours led by volunteers are available in the afternoon. Laguna Canyon Road There are plenty of beautiful murals along this stretch of land. Make sure to visit the parking lots of the Laguna Beer Company and 837 Laguna Canyon Road. There's even more to see at the Laguna College of Art and Design and the nearby Laguna Canyon Artist Studios. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Laguna Beach? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.